Good evening, everyone. I'm Keisha Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Thanks so much for looking in tonight. Topping the news. Legislators approving a resolution for anti-terrorism amendment regulations during House proceedings today. The legislation is expected to pave the way for the Bahamas to be removed from the Financial Action Task Force's gray list. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Peter Turnquist, says it will also help the Bahamas conform with international standards. The addition to our anti-terrorism regulation is one of the three remaining action points required to enable the Bahamas to hopefully exit the FATF's gray list in early 2020. The other two action points remaining relate to the Financial Intelligence Unit applying its new analytical software. And the third relates to the uh, DPP, Direct of Public Prosecutions, and the police providing their methodologies showing how they investigate money laundering and tax crimes. I'm advised that the methodology has already been forward it to the FATF's assessors uh, in the International Corporation Review Group, or ICRG, and the same was approved. Now, the Deputy Prime Minister also highlighted some of the other benefits of the move. Meantime, the House is on Christmas break until January 29th, 2020. The roadmap, which will hopefully be completed early next year, involves the FATF's plenary in Paris, Accepting the Bahamas has fully completed its action plan, which is agreed in November of 2018. If so, the FATF will then agree on a site visit, which will take place between February and April of next year. If all goes well, the Bahamas could and should be removed from the FATF's gray list.